Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to be taking you on a ride with me. So today is actually the day I'm going to take Smokey for his first solo hack out. So we're going to go for a ride out um, through basically a little village and then down some country lanes and see what he's like on his own. So I've hacked him out with um, other horses on the yard but I've never taken him out on his own without another horse. Um, so luckily I have got my boyfriend walking with me, he's going to be filming a bit but most of it's going to be on my GoPro um, just because when you first go out with especially a young horse on their own it's always best to have someone walking with you just because if he does react at all um, there's someone on the ground to help me um, and also if anything happens there's someone to deal with it straight away. So that's what we're doing today. So I brought Smokey in from the field and please excuse how dirty he is at the moment. He is really ready for a bath and once he's had a bath I'm going to clip him as soon as he's in on a night now that it's turned really cold. So he is looking very very muddy today so it's definitely time he had a groom. So I just picked his feet out and then got straight in there removing the mud. Now we all know I'm a massive fan of magic brushes and that's what I was using today. Um, luckily the mud had pretty much dried on him so I was just going over it in sort of circular motions just getting all of that mud off and he was such a good boy he even stood there and let me do his ears um, and all of his head and yeah he was just very very good. So once little man had had a groom, it was then time to start tacking up. So whenever I go out riding, I always put his um, brushing boots on. And today I just popped his saddle with his plum set, um, Lumia Numna. Just because that's the last thing I had on him. Um, and of course I will be wearing my high vis. So whenever you ride out, it's also always important to have a high vis vest on, um, some sort of reflectors or something like that, especially now that it's sort of getting into winter and the weather's not as nice and it's darker. Um, me being the idiot I am, tried to put it on with my hat still on, which obviously didn't work. And then we're finally ready for our ride out, so it's time to take him out and jump on him at the mountain block. So as I said we started by going through a village now there were quite a lot of cars that went past and Smokey is exceptional with vehicles and um, there's not been one single vehicle we've gone past lorries we've gone past loads of things and um, that he's ever spooked out or ever reacted badly to he kind of just ignores them to be honest and um, so he's obviously very much used to traffic and I was so proud of him being on his own because I obviously didn't know if he was going to react as well on his own I did notice he was a lot more anxious and um, than he normally is on a hack and um, he was a little bit more huffy and puffy what I call it when he does his little nostril flares when he's not too sure about situations but overall he was super well behaved um, I was just very reassuring just clicking in him on and um, keeping him going very forward I find with Smokey when he's on his own you need a mo lot more leg and just to encourage him make him aware that you are there um, and that he's okay and that he's being a really good boy and listening so we had a nice little hack around the entire village um, he got to see a few different sites some wheelie bins some skips and um, some vans lots of cars and um, a big lorry went past so he got to do a lot of different things And then we came across a massive yellow truck. Now this also had the sort of top hole inside and I didn't know how to react to that, but it was absolutely good as gold and just walked past it like it wasn't even there. So then as we headed further out, um, and we're sort of heading towards the lanes, we met some horses. Now the biggest thing for Smokey is, the thing he's most reactive with are all the horses in fields and particularly miniatures. Um, he's really scared of them for some reason, so this was a big test for him. And again, he was absolutely fantastic, so I was really, really proud of him.
So once we headed onto the back lanes, this was when I had a bit more of a trot with him. Um, because obviously it wasn't busy, there wasn't any cars. So we did a little bit of trotting on the road and then we took him onto the grass verge. Now Smokey needs to learn to get used to grass verges. I think he kind of thinks there's something scary in the hedge. Um, and he kind of always tries to stick to the road. So I'm trying to get him used to grass verges at the moment. And of course, if there's a grass verge, you have to make the most of it and have a little canter. So that's what we did. And then throughout the hack I just had a few canters and did some trotting on the grass verges and there aren't really any um, massively open green spaces for us to have a canter immediately nearby so they're more things I'll be doing with other horses um, rather than taking him on really long hacks on his own but there are there is a lot of different hacking around us which I'm really happy about and there's some woods and things like that so you guys will be seeing that in upcoming videos I did actually take him through the woods the other day with one of my friends um, and we did some jumping of some logs and things like that so he really enjoys being out hacking and I'm really enjoying actually getting back out riding because obviously uh, with my other horses on the farm there isn't actually any hacking facility around there apart from um, just the fields where we cut our hay whereas this is obviously a lot better experience for a youngster going on roads, seeing different um, machinery, seeing cars, seeing lots of different situations that you just don't see when you're just riding around a field. And so that was the majority of our hack. Obviously, I've just kind of cut the best bits. and um, We didn't do a huge amount with it being his first solo hack out, but I was so proud of him um, and I thought he did really well. So then we headed back to the yard and I jumped off and untacked him. And then it was time to pop Smokes back into the field and he did get quite a few treats for being such a good boy. So guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed coming along for mine and Smokey's first solo hack. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you get a notification every time I post and I will see you guys very soon for another little surprise. Bye guys.